So today we're in Hajar Yuli, which is one of the most famous places for Banja Masin style seafood, which mm. basically it's all river fish. So she's laid out a massive banquet for us. Yeah. So here you have the fried fish, fried shallots, a little bit of fried chili on top there, and it just looks like a plate of sensation. There we go. Give me that pizza. Mmm. That is so good. And that's really sensational. Yeah, that's good. The other dish that they have here, steam banja masin style. Oh, that smells so good. Here you go, you want to take that? Happy days. Good? Mmm, good. And it's all meat, huh? Mmm. Really good. Yeah. My little texture for that. What's also very signature to here. So this is called, actually called unangala. Actually very, very expensive, but you know, we fly these in from Bali. Great flavor. What they've done is they've cooked it in a little bit of tamarind, they've cooked it in a little bit of sugar, a bit of salt, and then just tomato for sweetness, a little bit of garlic, and then the two different kinds of chili. Super so, simple. It's all about the prawn. It's all about the prawn. Yeah. Here we have fattened fish. So I'm just gonna break this in and just be a bit uncivilized with it. Taste. And this one is basically cooked in like a sambal. So chili, tomato, and shallot garlic, salt, sugar, and asam jawa. I think a little bit of tamarind in there as well. But very, very good. And this would be barbecue. Yeah, just grilled. So here is basically a very simple wrap. The in, first sign of vegetable. First sign of vegetable in a paste. Um, and then they mix it with a coconut. Um, very nice. Nice to come into it. Mm. Coconut's been slightly roasted. Mm. There's a little roasting in there. Oh, that's wonderful. So a nice finish to this. It's having this tigaron herb or leaf, and it's super clean and super light and very florally. Yeah, um, with jasmine. -y. Yeah, yeah. For somebody that arrived at this place at the same time as I did, you seem to know a lot about the food, Will. It's been part of my passion, and for me, it's all about food culture and understanding how this has been put together. I don't change much in the restaurants, I try and keep it as traditional as possible. But that's why it's great to have someone like you to come in take it to the next level. You seem like the right guy to travel with when it comes to food. How the uh, hell do you know about this place? A lot of research, a lot of blogging, and also I've got a good team behind me. Nice one. you got to come here, it's well worth it. The food's fantastic, and it's well worth the trip to have this seafood extravaganza. So we're in Amunzai in South Kalimantan and we're at Haji Alan's Warung, and it's very well known for duck. And it's a caramelized smoked duck in a sweet soy. And apparently this is a 40 years old. First time. First time. So anyhow, let's order some and let's have a taste and see what it has. Pak? Pak Alan, pizza apa? Satu porsi pizza? Yeah. So, and then also they've got some wonderful uh, condiments to go with it. I think you have a bite of the chili, squeeze a bit of lime in there for tartness and uh, then you eat the whole thing. Here we go, oh, thank you, makasih banyak, yeah. So look mm. at this dish, isn't this amazing? So it's, you got your soy, uh, lemon in there, they put a little bit of uh, parsley for garnish, I think, Asian celery. Over the Squeeze top? That, yeah, over the top. Mm. And they put a little bit of sambal on top as well, actually. But in the sambal di atas, ada? Sauce apa, sauce tomat? Sauce tomat. So they put a little bit of chili sauce on here. You know what I love about this? Is when you bite into a hot chili, you know it has like a, a sort of <laughs> element to it? And the trick is not to inhale it. Keep it there while you take another bite. So hold it, don't eat it, and then take another bite. It totally comes different in your mouth. <laughs> Brilliant. All right, lots of inspiration from somewhere very small. And this is what it's all about for, I think, Kevin and I on this, on this journey of, of discovering food. We will, we will collaborate together. You need to make sure that the taste feels as authentic and original as what they're able to bring. And what I need to do is package it all up into a bow uh, and a gift that we can deliver it to you where you think, Oh my, I've never quite had it just like that. So it doesn't resemble the classic, it resembles a creation of ours, but the flavor still remains intact. So I think we've done it pretty well so far. We're still here. We're still here yeah. traveling. I still am okay with you. <laughs> we'll see you in the next Wild Room. Yeah.